Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have a new Suso card to review today, which is going to be the card that people don't care about as much as the other three. I think the other three are definitely going to be way more hyped. But uh, with Suso, we're taking a look at a card who is five foot nine. Ooh, five foot nine high, low work rates. Left footed, four star skills, four star weak foot. Do you have the finesse shot trait? Oh, you have the finesse shot trait. I had a feeling, man. I had a feeling. Uh, early crosser as well. Right wing. So maybe if you play in like a 4 3 3, maybe. Okay. So we're working with high low, right? I like that. I like that. Okay. Let me see this card stats. Uh, okay. So what? A finisher? A finisher with the potential of it being increased. A finisher for now. Yeah. For now, probably a finisher, right? Yeah. Because here's the thing, right? So the finisher is going to boost agility, balance, and dribbling while working with fantastic shooting stats to work with that finesse shot trait while being a player who is five foot nine at an average body type. Ugh, average body type, but the dribbling stats are in the mid 90s, high 90s area with 87 composure. Okay, okay. The thing that I'm liking is that I think his finesse shots could come off really cleanly. Because his long shots by default is already at a 97. Hmm. Okay, interesting. Base card stats for passing on the card is very, very good. You don't have to look at that too much. Dribbling we do have to experiment with because he does have the average body type, which usually strays away from the meta of the game, but no big issue there. And this card also has 97 for stamina. See, here's the thing, right? Just like... I would say two or three of the other showdown cards, the main improvement that I feel like you're going to want is the sprint speed parts for the meta of the game. Because with the fullbacks, guys, if you're using this guy in the side positions, which is probably where I see him being used most in. Actually, if you use him as a cam, as your aggressive oriented cam, that's not bad because that pace is actually set up nicely for base card stats already on a finisher chemistry style. So I don't actually mind it that much as the aggressive oriented cam, you know what I'm saying? Shame it doesn't have the outside foot shot trade. That, that trade is just absolutely nuts. But uh, yeah, 97 stamina. That's why like the 97 stamina is at a pretty decent area as well. So let me go ahead and actually give him the finisher because I'm curious to see how this card's actually gonna move across the pitch the high low work rates i could see him like i wish 433 was more of a relevant formation in this game but um because in real life you know it's just like the, the difficult or not difficult the typical uh formation that a lot of teams actually end up using i want to try out that pro player 352 give me a second i feel like i'm gonna like this formation because the way that he has it set up is less is more you know and in fifa for some formation, less is more, it usually ends up working really well. So by default, the fact that he has direct passing on this makes sense. We could make a video on this when I actually play on my main account. Uh, but for now, let's go ahead and do a few things here and there. So with Suf Suso, for the sake of the review, we'll use him up top in the striker position because I want to see that high-low work rate. And I want to use him on the right side. Yeah, the rest of the team will use as is, and we'll just take it from there. Ultra defensive. Okay, cool. Let's go try him out. I feel like his dribbling might not be that bad because of the height, right? Like, I know he has the average body type, but... It's not too bad. That was a fair distance away. I honestly thought that was going to go in. I was like, excuse me, sir. That's a little bit far for you to hit, but I'll take it if it does go in. Oh, the reach. That's hilarious because that was a red time strike. The reason why I timed that one a little bit off is because he's coming off with a touch with a drag, right? So the timing is a little bit different on those ones. <laughs> I did not expect to go in with his right foot there, but... That's why I was trying to do like the small little touch downwards there. Are you onside? Oh, okay. Thank goodness. I didn't know if he was going to be onside there. Oh, 
Oh, he saves that, eh? Okay, Courtois, I see you, my boy. I see you. That's uh, one of the meta things, by the way, is doing that skill move and then going for a finesse shot afterwards, especially if you green it. Like, it's it's uh, it's one of those things to do for sure. That works. Good initial pass. Small little sharp touch. Good finish. The near post. First time. Oh, no green, eh? No green. It's I, I, I get so scared of those because I don't know if he's going to head the ball, bro. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, he switches to his left foot there. Okay. Well, the one thing that you notice a lot, and this is why it's really good to test out these guys in the striker position, is to see what their work rates is actually like. And you can clearly see that he's a high-low work rate player. Like, he'll make those runs going forward, right? So, he could be like your aggressive-oriented side player if you really want to work with that. There's going to be a really good strike, actually, if that actually came off. Ha, huh. yeah, like a like a, a sharp animation there. You see that? Take the strike. Oh, and he still saves it after all of the shock cancels and more shock cancels, guys. I still couldn't score. Small little drag touch. There we go. Small little drag touch. Get him on his weak foot there. Okay. He's a second man press. I just go for that near post angle. Thank you very much, sir. Nice finesse shot. Well done, my friend. Oh, I, I think that was going over the bar. I have a feeling it was going over the bar. I mean, that's what he's going to be good at. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That's what he's going to be good at, guys, is those fun-ass shots, my guy. More power, eh? Okay. And that distance, if I just hit it with more power, not bad. So, guys, regardless of the fact that you give him the finisher chemistry style, again, average body type strays away from the meta of the game, so you do feel that with the card. He's not as agile as he probably should feel if he... I would say if he felt like a Bernardo Silva type of body type, you know what I'm saying? No, oh, on the right foot with a power strike, he misses. No chance, my boy. Come on. By the way, in FIFA, I wish that a finesse shot inside the 18 was more consistent. But the reason why people do not go for it is because it's not one of the consistent strikes. Oh, my. I, I, I'm, I'm getting the angles, but I'm just putting it's either I'm putting too much power. Or I'm not timing it, but he's hitting them well. So dumb. He told you, just more power. Just more power, man. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the new Suso card. So guys, uh, because of the fact that he has the finesse shot traits, when you give this card a finisher chemistry style and you boost all of the shooting stuff, to be around this area, 97 finishing, 99 shot power, 97 long shots. 
If you mostly green time your shots and you're taking the right type of power behind that strike, his finesse shots are very, very clean to work with. I won't say it's on the level of someone like the Lionel Messi card because honestly, no one takes finesse shots like that card. Maybe Maradona does, but Suso still hits them really, really well. On the finisher, Kemish style, improving the shooting as much as possible. Uh, the high-low work rates on the card is super noticeable for this 3-5-2 tactic. I don't even have getting behind on it, but you can clearly see that he is a high-low work rated player. So for the authentic football players of FIFA, I never see you guys, but if you're there, right? This card in the right wing position, cutting inside, going for that finesse shot, could be something that you may want to work with because he's really, really good at taking those strikes. Now, when it comes to the upgrades on this card, Here's the thing, average body type, boom, already not meta in the game, right? Because the average body type strays away from the meta of the game when it comes to responsive dribbling, but he's still pretty decent at it because the thing is, man, is that he has the average body type, but he still takes really good sharp touches to kind of open up the space for himself, right? Which is good for those finesse shots, which is good for the general FIFA play in this game, right? You just pass and go, pass and go. You don't really dribble that much like I do for the player of use to test out certain things like, you know, dribbling against defenders to see if he loses composure, all that kind of stuff, right? So with the pass and go movement, he's very, very solid at working that space as much as possible, right? The main thing that I would say that the car needs to be improved in is the pace department. But to be honest, for what the card is currently on a finisher chemistry style, it's already decent. I'm just saying that for the meta of the game, like let's just say, for instance, you want to use him in like a 4-4-2 or a 3-5-2 playing as your right mid. I feel like he needs to have a little, excuse me, a little bit more in that sprint speed department because of the fullbacks nowadays usually being around the 99 area for both the acceleration and the sprint speed, right? So don't get me wrong, on the finisher chemistry style, you can use this as it is playing through the middle, he'll be perfectly fine, right? In the side positions, you just won't be able to make certain through balls and stuff because he just won't be able to catch up to that player unless you give him like a hunter chemistry style or something. But I feel like it'd be a waste because the finisher really allows you to use that finesse shot trait. So uh, for this SBC, I feel like it is going to be an SBC that people complete if they want to have a Spanish player playing on that right side that gives you that left foot capability, right? Uh, normally, with cards like this, because he has that finesse shot trait, that's the main thing that you want to work with when it comes to the certain angles that you have outside the 18-yard box as well as the inside of the 18-yard box. So those are going to be the main things uh, for a card like this. So if you want to unlock this card and work with those things at 154K, by all means, do the card for that reason. But it's a card that there's not crazy improvements in in regards to base card stats unless they improve base card stats for shooting and then in game it feels better even though you're probably still going to give them a finisher chemistry style one of those types of cards in my opinion so um let's see what the links because right wing ooh, jesus navas navas is still pretty decent in this game he just lacks physical which to be fair is pretty big in this game um for defenders strong link i mean there's a few things you can work with right if you have the ferran torres card well, Yarzabal left wing, so you can't do that. Martial because of the Sevilla links. Yeah, okay. Kunde, yeah, but Kunde is right wing. Yuri, no, that's right wing. M Gomez. I never really see that Gomez card being used that much. Not that often. You know what? For this Suso card, if you started off in a 3-4-3 in this game... And you use Vasquez, if you guys still have that card, as the one of the guys on the right side. You can play the Vasquez as a fullback if you really want to. So that's something that you can do, right? Naki Williams, this guy, how, how much is he? 53k. Very underrated card. This guy is actually really, really solid. Thoroughly enjoyed using him for what it was. Um, but yeah, a couple of links you can work with if you guys want to complete the SBC and work with those finesse shots because you love doing that. It's going to be the main thing for this card for sure. But uh, yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, my dudes. I'm going to go eat because that was a lot of SBCs today.